Hello everybody and welcome back to Everything Created. Today, I'm in this room, it's big, it's echoey. I don't know if you can hear the echo or not, but it's echoing, it is. And no one cares because this is going to be my new room, by the way. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys some of this. Uh, yeah, see how big it is? And all the windows, look at all the windows. They're everywhere, windows and skylights. It's gonna be awesome. Anyway, that's not what this video is about. Uh, Colocasia mojito. It's actually Colocasia esculenta mojito is like the whole the whole name. Anyway, it's a really cool looking uh, elephant ear, Colocasia. And it has like these insane patterns and every leaf is a little bit different. So it looks like artwork. So I looked up videos about how to keep it inside because I really wanted to keep it inside. I could not find any information about this plant so I just was like, you know what? I'll buy it. I'm going to experiment. I'm okay at plants. I'm going to see if I can figure out how to keep this thing alive indoors. So I had it indoors for as long as I possibly could. But as soon as the warm weather hit, I put it outside because it was not doing good. So I'm going to try like bringing it inside and working on different things and seeing if I can get it to be happier. But I've, I'm going to share with you the few things that I have learned so far about it and how I've been keeping it alive. And it is actually, it looks a lot better now than it did when I got it. So I, as long as there's improvement, I feel like there's hope. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you and talk to you about it. You're gonna have to uh, forgive it for being on the floor, but um, I just moved it in because the searing heat here uh, really has been bothering it. It's in a small pot, so I can I can water it enough to keep it to keep it content in the heat but it seems like the new leaves are just kind of floppy and a little bit curled up. It's like they're just not happy whenever it's really hot like this. So I decided to go ahead and bring it back inside for a little while. So what I figured out with this thing so far is it can handles like pretty good shade. So right now it's on the north side of my house and it is under the porch. So it might get like less than 30 minutes of sunlight every day like as far as direct sunlight, but it'll be in the weakest the weakest part of the day. So like in the mornings or late afternoons. So very little sunlight and it has been doing good. So that is a good sign. So lighting wise, it can definitely do okay inside. Now, all colocasia and alocasia require a lot of humidity indoors. Otherwise their leaves just won't do very well. Just kind of like a, a lot like uh, calathea. So you want to keep your humidity really high. That's one thing that I've learned. You want to use, well, I want to use, I don't know if you do, but I like to use uh, distilled water with them or rainwater. It seems like they just do a little bit better. The leaves come out better that way. And um, the leaves tend to just keep getting bigger as it goes along. And that's that's normal for colocasia and alocasia. It seems like every leaf is going to be a little bit bigger than the last. Except in this case, this, this leaf is actually smaller than this one. But I'm just going to ignore that. Um, so I'm really not too sure why they don't do that well indoors. To me, it makes, it doesn't make any sense because the back patio that I keep these things on, I keep most of my plants on actually, it, it's, it's shaded. I mean, there's like no direct sunlight. The only difference between outside and inside is temperature. It's going to be a lot hotter outside. And like I said, these actually don't seem to like that and um, circulation, air circulation. So inside your air is gonna be stagnant. So it's possible that these guys like some air circulation, but they also still need really high humidity. So you kind of have to balance that out. That might be a little bit difficult, but I just wanted to kind of, I don't know if anyone else is looking into getting some of these indoors, but you should try it. Let me know what you figure out because I mean, I love the way they look. And if I could figure out a way to keep these happy inside, that would just be the coolest thing ever. So I know with a lot of colocasias, they, if there is like a huge temperature drop, uh, they will typically go into a dormancy. And if they start to go into a dormancy, you kind of have to let them go into that dormancy and keep them that way for a little while before you try to bring them back again. But if you keep your, con uh, your temperatures consistent, they can sometimes stay uh, in actively growing throughout the entire year. So that's what I'm going for. I want to try to, uh, I want to try to keep it growing and going all year. If your colocasia is struggling and you see it dying and there's nothing you can do, you might could try just chopping all the leaves off, digging up the bulb, letting it dry out, do more research, and then try again later. 
um, because, you know, that way you stop it from dying at least for a little while and that might help. But I want to show you how each leaf is a little bit different. So this one has a lot of like the weaker dark colorings with a green undertones and then it has a solid black patch up in the corner here. And I'm not sure if you call this black. It's, it looks almost navy, like a navy black color, but then this leaf is marbled here. This one has a lot less of that dark color. It's mainly green and speckled. And then this one is my absolute favorite. It is half black and then it is half green speckled. Moving on down to another, there's a little offset at the base. I don't know, let me zoom in. There's another offset at the base there and it's doing really good too. The leaves, it seems like the leaves kind of lay down really far in the offset. Let me see. Yeah, so the, these two are going up. These two are standing up good. This one's laying way over. But you can see this one is actually solid black. That It happens. Every leaf's a little bit different. This one is not quite half black. It's more like a, like one quarter black maybe. And then this one is more of the light green color. But anyway, I just wanted to give you a little bit of information on these in case you're trying to grow some inside. And just wanted to give you a little bit of a, just a little short video, just something to let you know that I'm still alive. And I have other video plans. I'm doing a trade pretty soon uh, with somebody from the internet. So I am really hoping that that goes well and I plan to film it and show you guys. So stay tuned for that, hopefully coming next Saturday. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.